Hello, strategists and generals of the Second World War. Welcome back to Panzerkorps Gold and playing hardball and the Grand Siege and Battle of Calais, which we basically have won already because we have the city under control and the harbor. Order has been restored, people are happy and are being treated excellently, right? And we even have found some French and Belgian soldiers uh, incarcerated in cellars in the city because these guys uh, didn't want to fight anymore and the British yeah, imprisoned them in the cellars and you can think about that what you want. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we are fighting here. Let's continue. And the good thing is the weather is at least not raining anymore. So let's do something with this good weather maybe actually uh where's oh yeah there okay good so you guys or maybe you guys no, you can go there. Let's drive there. You attack them. Ah. Hmm. No, not so good. We're there. Okay, now what to do? Following up a little bit. That is less than optimal. Oh yeah, you guys can go there then. You guys take this one. Very nice. So now here. You can shoot them. You shoot them. You shoot them. Oh, nice. Good, shot good shooting. And these guys, well, they have one. You guys go there. Take out these guys. Good. You guys go in. Take out those. Very good. Now you guys can be resupplied. Uh, but we are not moving in further and by the way we should have why why are we not uh, attacking with planes first and by the way we wanted to see if there is anything on the sea Although I, I actually I doubt it, but uh, let's use our recon. Oh well, it doesn't matter because it's... Hey, what's happening? Oh my goodness, yeah, they are... These guys are the uh, the engineers, right? Oh well. You guys go there. there okay then over here nearly everything is in order okay next turn then they don't do anything okay you guys shoot them Go there you guys well let's let's rather pound them a little bit you guys pump them some more. 
What is that? What was that? That sounded like uh, bad shots again. You guys shoot those. You guys go there. Yeah. Then you guys provide support. Oh, what, what's going on here? They're shooting down our planes with their little machine guns. So, strategic bomber. Get over there. Nice bomb carpet. You guys. Well, we don't have anything else, so we will take them. Wow, seven were promised and we only get three. You guys get out of there. Uh, they've survived for another round, yeah? Yeah. Well then, that's not good. So these guys are also alive. Oh, they can't shoot them. Oh no. Oh, come on. Okay. We take them. Yeah, they're gone. And it's okay there. You guys drive there. And that's it. For this turn. Oh! Oh my goodness. All these losses. So, but now these guys get their artillery fire. There was another one of these shots. There we go. Going in, no one left. Right? Yeah, everything is fine. Looks like a good victory. Three, three hours in advance. Yes, decisive victory. Begging your pardon, Herr General, sir, but your advance was so successful that our lines of communication have not been able to keep pace and we have lost contact with the Generalfeldmarschall and High Command. I have a report for you of a very significant build-up of Allied troops trapped in a pocket at Dunkirk, but we have not received any new orders or where or how to proceed. What shall I tell the men, sir? Shall we march on Dunkirk or work on restoring our communications and await further orders? Well, of course we advance on Dunkirk because trapping the Allies will be a very good thing for us and maybe even cut short this war, right? Because those who are prisoners of war will not fight anymore against us. So, Herr General, sir, we still have not re-established contact with High Command, but our scouts have detected the British Expeditionary Force has begun a general evacuation of the continent. Your senior officers have convened and they believe the best way to stop the Allies is by destroying as many evacuation units as possible. Our reports have cited numerous trains, transport ships and even destroyers being used for this purpose. So you should consider these targets to be your primary objective. There are additional reports that the Dunkirk pocket itself has an extremely well defended perimeter and you are thus advised to avoid direct conflict with the forces between the canals de Fouren and Bourbeau. Lastly, only a skeletal garrison has been spotted defending Grand Fort Philippe, so if you ch capture it, you will be able to turn the guns against any evacuation vessels in range. Any available naval and air units have been diverted to assist your forces to this end, but they will not arrive for at least several hours. Victory here will strand hundreds of thousands of Allied troops on the continent and force them to surrender to you. Good luck, sir. Well, that sounds very nice and also this is like a nice swashbuckling mission here to capture this fort and use the guns. Yeah, these the, I guess this is the, like coastal batteries or something. Oh, very nice. So this is this is what happened, what uh, our good man Bruno has recommended and hoped for. We get a tank. Oh, it looks cool. With uh, camouflage, painting, very nice. The SE tank, very cool. 
Panzer 3F, uh, that's one we already have, right? 3F, yeah. Okay. Oh, we can't upgrade it to so anything. Well, but I am happy about that. Also, it looks cool. Well, that's fine. So, I am happy. So, let's take a look. Dunkirk. Oh, we have a, a submarine. Very nice. Is this Philippe? Grandfort Philippe. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. Okay. So, we will sweep around. Let's have a look at the map. That's Newport. That's Dunkirk. Bjorn and Winkern. Well, surprisingly, the like the Dunkirk itself. This is Fort Mavic. Madik. What did it say? Dunkirk pocket itself has an extremely well defended perimeter. And Bourbourg, okay. Mm. Well then. Ah, oh yeah, so here is more uh, uh, fortification, alright. So then. Oh, yeah, and we have something. Oh, a doe. What's that? Is it uh, something. Uh, strategic bomber? Oh, I oh know. 100 uh, or 17. 17Z, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But otherwise, we don't have any auxiliary troops except for one U boat. Oh, well, I guess they will arrive uh, in a couple of hours, right? And we have 17 hours time. All right, but that looks very nice. That was, looks very nice. Vincam, Bjorn, that's the Grand Fort St. Vulgurin. So let, that looks very nice and promising. Although I'm a bit surprised that uh, Dunkirk itself is not a uh, target location. Well then, I am happy. I'm especially happy about this tank. If you like this episode, please click the like button. We are ending now and see each other again in the next episode where we will, well, hopefully d uh, defeat the evil allied forces yeah <laughs> and uh, cut the war short possibly so then all the best please join the channel if you never ever want to miss a video again see you next time bye bye